to recognize Ms. Jackson Lee. Good morning. Good morning. You uh, value the independence of a special counsel, do you not? I do. In a letter to Attorney General Garland submitting your report, you asked him to allow you to continue investigation unencumbered. You said, we want to thank you and your office for permitting our inquiry to proceed independently without interference as you assured the members of the Judiciary Committee would be the case during your confirmation hearings to become Attorney General of the United States. You value your special counsel status. So it is accurate that Attorney General Garland let you proceed on your case as you wish. Is that true? That's true. And uh, yes or no, it was important to you that as a special counsel, your investigation was supposed to be independent. Is that correct? That's correct. Because special counsels and special attorneys are supposed to be independent, right? Special counsels. Yes. And independent, they're supposed to be independent. Is that correct? Special counsel is independent of the Attorney General's that, office. Thank you. Why is that the case in your view? Um, so there can be some confidence on the part of people looking at the investigation that was done, decisions uh, which were made. Thank you. Special counsels and special attorneys are supposed to be, for the American public, to present the potential of a conflict of interest between the government and a sensitive investigation. By appointing a special counsel and attorney general, is supposed to be finding an unbiased party to do the investigating. This was at a very high level. This was dealing with potential presidential candidates. This was dealing with Russia collusion and undermining the very fabric of the United States of America. And they are supposed to leave that person alone, as you commended Attorney General Garland for doing. So unlike Attorney General Garland, Attorney General Barr was very involved in your investigation, wasn't he? He was not involved as a, when I became a special counsel. Prior to that, uh, I worked under the supervision of the Attorney General and Deputy He was very General's involved, office. was he not? Let me just bring you to this point. Barr established early on that he was very interested in your investigation. On June 8, 2018, he sent then Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein an unsolicited memo arguing that the Mueller investigation should not be able to force the president to submit to interrogation about obstruction. In his text message sending the memo, Barr wrote, that he feels very deeply about some of the issues taking shape in the Mueller matter. How often did you meet with Attorney General Barr in 2019? Uh, before I was special counsel, um, um, maybe, well, with him himself, you know, maybe every two weeks, three weeks, uh, something of that sort. And then after? And sometimes more frequently. And then after? After it became, uh, I had been appointed special counsel, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that I saw him, but I didn't meet with him on a lot. investigation. No, All it was right. not a lot. How often did you speak or text with the attorney general? This is during the investigation. I wouldn't. During the, when I was special counsel or prior to that? Special counsel, sir. Um, I don't know how many times I texted with him. Right. Well, according to now public records, Barr scheduled at least 18 meetings or calls with you between 2019 March and October 2019, and you and he text messages with each other frequently, didn't you? Text messages. Yeah, I was appointed as special counsel in October. So before that, yeah, there were probably any number of uh, text messages. After that, I don't, I don't know. Here are some examples. On August 31, 2019, he sent you a message that said, John strongly suggests that you a lot of interesting things. On February 6, 2020, you text him, sir, just emerging from a skiff. Are you open to a call earlier this morning? On February 14, 2020, Barr texts you, call me when you get a chance. On March 19, 2020, Barr texts, can I call you later? And you responded, most certainly. On March 27, 2020, you sent him the best phone number for you all during the time of being special counsel. And here's an interesting one. On September 24, 2019, the day that the Speaker Pelosi announced a formal impeachment inquiry into President Trump, Attorney General Barr texts you, call me ASAP. And later that day, you text back. Do you have a minute for a quick call, Durham? What was the purpose of this call, Mr. Durham? Were you discussing the impeachment inquiry? I never had any conversation with Attorney General Barr about the impeachment inquiry. Mr. Durham, this is an awful lot of direct interactions with the Attorney General for imposed supposedly independent counsel prosecutor. During these messages uh, that sound to you like appropriate Interactions? Do they sound like appropriate interactions between an attorney general and a prosecutor investigating uh, 
the administration? Sure. Before uh, I was appointed special counsel, I worked for the Attorney General of the United States. Um, that's who But you subsequently me. became special counsel. I know that. Right. You subsequently became. Not only did you interact with the Attorney General frequently, you also regularly engaged with one of his top deputies, Seth Ducharme. What was your relationship with Mr. Ducharme? Seth Ducharme had been order. an assistant United States attorney in the Eastern District of New York. He works with one of my sons, we are friends. And he, uh, at the time, was working in the Office of the Attorney General. It seems that rather than having time, time an in the independent investigation, time there was a lot of interaction between the Attorney time General the and the Special Prosecutor, well, which been, shows that generous with the, time the Attorney General so, was actively directing your work. General lady yields, the General Lady yields back. I think this is amazing, Mr. Durham. You had eight text messages with the Attorney General of the United States in 11 months time period. That's, that's, that's amazing. I, think, I can't believe that. Mr. Chairman, parliamentary inquiry. The, whose, whose time is that that you were speaking of? That was that time that was yielded to me earlier that I yielded back, I think. That's a select Mr. Uh, Chairman, that is, a that is absolutely that. inappropriate. I was just pointing out something that I think is so Mr. So Chairman, ridiculous. that is not appropriate. And we will go to Mr. Klein for five minutes. The gentleman from, George, or from Virginia excuse me, is recognized.